guys what's going on my name is Luis and god bless every single one of you today is june 6 2023 and welcome to the grand supreme niche channel all right guys so we have some breaking news updates very important information coming out guys i just posted a video not too long ago a dam was blown up in crane now we do have more information coming out you have one side saying that the bear did it and then you have the other side saying that crane did it so they pointing fingers uh, uh you know when it comes to this dam being destroyed uh so we do have updates and for those of you that miss my uh video this link right here will be in the comments box all the information is in this video all right so damn destroyed towns to be flooded possibly within hours uh there is a huge population in those area i think it's like 250 or maybe 300 thousand people out there so this dam someone hit this dam and now we got water just pouring down in um goodbye car cave let me show you something really quick here You have a lot of people sharing all these information. Not car kids, say goodbye to Curse on City. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send to me Luis Santiago at 3432 US Highway 19 number 2 Holiday Florida 34691 guys do me a huge favor and please pray for many people out there uh this is some serious stuff going on right now uh again for those of you that missed it this is the video once again the Nova uh Kavkovka hydro electric dam on the Dnieper River in Southern Crane has been blown all right so this thing is just mm -mm. <sighs> now once again guys uh this story broke out like two hours ago but it wasn't confirmed but now it's been confirmed bno news is talking about it and uh you have some other news media uh are saying that it was the bear again russia other people saying that it's ukraine so uh they just pointing finger at each other right now um let's go with this one so bno saying that uh i'm just gonna say the name ukraine military says russia russian occupation forces have blown up the uh dam extent of damage flooding being determined now they are also saying that uh they're also saying that uh with the dam in southern crane uh being destroyed a wave of water is expected to flood dozens of towns in the coming hours all right but this is what concerns me is that uh i mean we could see town being completely out who did it that's the big question. Who did it? Who should be responsible? Who did it? Some people are saying this. Uh, hold on. Give me a second here. Let me just uh, pull this one up. So we have information uh, breaking. It says here Russian forces have destroyed the Nova Kakova Dam. Uh, Ukraine Operational Command uh, South says. Now, this is coming out from Ukraine. All right. This is coming out from Ukraine. So Ukraine's saying their part, and then you have Russia, they're saying their part. So they just, you know, pointing fingers at each other. Um, I won't be able to translate that one, uh, that one there, guys. Give me a second. Let me see. So Russia, why would they blow up a dam that would cause a ecological disaster for territory they claim? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Because their area is gonna get hit, the bear area is gonna get hit. So does it make sense that the bear want to uh, self destruct themselves? It just doesn't make any sense. So once again, uh, why would they blow up a dam that will cause an ecological disaster for territory that they claim? 
Do you think they blew up the North Stream too? Give me a second here. Let me just read this comment uh, really quick. Easy panic. They're preparing to run away from it and blowing up the dam makes it much harder for Crane to cross. There's literally no reason at all for Crane to destroy it. Uh, okay, here's the thing is that the bear is literally winning this. I don't know if you guys heard about what happened yesterday, but uh, you had uh, supposedly the counteroffensive started and it only lasted for two hours because the bear soldiers just obliterated the uh, crane forces. 2,000 were impacted. 2,000 soldiers were impacted in, you know, within hours. So I don't see the bear doing this. So they just assuming things. So I don't go by you know uh opinions uh again we go by facts so these are just assuming they're just assuming that maybe the bear did it because they trying to run away uh, i don't see the bear running away um so they probably were expecting to lose that territory again this is just assuming stuff here guys like i said uh there has to be a full investigation there has to be a full investigation um all right, give me a second here. Isn't it way more? Give me a second here. A lot of people saying that Crane did it. Yeah, so you got both sides just pointing finger. But uh, what is the strategic value of causing problems for the territory that they hold? It just doesn't make any sense. But uh, and the bear blew up their own pipeline, right? Um, this is just a video. Give me a second here. Let me let me get out of this thing really quick. I just don't see the bear doing it. Uh, I just, uh, again, I don't see them doing that. We have some more information here. The bear military is claiming. Now, this is the bear military now. Uh, so the bear military, Russian military, is claiming that Ukraine armed forces conducted the strike. So once again, they pointing fingers. Uh, who did it? So, uh, the Russian military is claiming that, uh, Ukraine forces conducted, uh, an attack against the dam in the Kurzon region in a few hours ago, uh, with almost the entire dam as well as the Kakovka hydroelectric power plant being destroyed in the process. Now, it's been destroyed. Some say that it's not fully destroyed, but it's been destroyed. Um, it says here throughout the length of the war, both the Ukrainian and the Russian gov have been claiming that each other were going to destroy the dam due to its strategic importance in Crimea, uh, who is reliant on the dam for its fresh water supply. Now, remember, Crimea is uh, Russian. Basically, it's a Russian territory. They claimed it back in 2014. So, um... It just doesn't make any sense for them to actually take out the dam and see their own territory being hit. Um, so it says here, water supply in downstream and Kurzon region, which now has multiple settlements that are at risk or of flooding or of, let me pause that guy, give me a second here, or are flooding. All right. So you have the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense is now claiming that a Russian missile is responsible for the destruction of Nova Kakovka uh, Dam and that they are falsely uh, placing the blame on the Ukrainian military. All right, guys, this is going to be huge, <laughs> man, because you got both sides just pointing finger at each other. Who did it? Uh, so there were air raid alert going on in uh, Ukraine. Uh, four hours ago, the entire country was lit up all red. You have a uh, Russian and their Tu-95 bombers. Uh, they were launching cruise missile, and um, I believe that Crane was also responding back. 
Um, so we don't know who did it, but again, like I said, we gotta wait for the full investigation. Um, let me just read this comment really quick. There's a video showing the damage uh, to houses already, if you want to use it. Oh. Wait a minute, hold on. Flooded, uh, uh some people's houses already flooded. Give me a second here, guys. Flooding has already started upstream. Uh, video shows damage to a house on the Niper River from the dam explosion. It's a uh, downstream, not upstream. All right. Not looking good. Not looking good. Give me a second here. Um, make sure you check out the other video. The link will be in the comments box. Does anybody know how this dam was blown? Missile strike, C4, placed? Guys, there's no video of a massive explosion. <laughs> I mean, usually, uh, usually uh, all these missiles and stuff like that, uh, you know, everybody posts it on Twitter or Telegram, but there's no, there's no video. There's absolutely no video of it. Uh, there's a possibility, like this person said, maybe uh, C4 or something. Hmm. As Dabu uh, posting something in there. Um, yeah, there's no video, guys. Absolutely no video. And when there's no video, and when you know stuff like this happened, there's no video. Obviously, you know someone knew what they were doing. Someone knew what they were doing. Whoever it was. Mm mm mm. Give me a second. Let me see if RIT posts something. I don't see nobody talking about this. I mean, this should be breaking news, right? Um, whoops. Hold on. I think I got something here, guys. Um... Yeah, we got one information here. Let me just fix this really quick. Give me a second here, guys. So recently surfaced videos and pictures on social media shows a dam in southern Ukraine being destroyed amid war. Uh, according to initial reports, a wave of water is expected to flood dozens of towns in the coming hours. So again, guys, I just posted that video like almost an hour ago. So the link will be in the comments box. Uh, Crane will become an ATL member, says Secretary General. Yeah, and that's when everybody needs to uh, start repenting and seeking for God, uh, God's kingdom and believing in Christ. The day that happens will be the day that WW3 will kick into gear. Uh, the bear will not allow Crane to become a member of NATO. Just like Turkey will not allow uh, Sweden to become a member of NATO. So uh, it's going to be really hard for that to happen. And if, if it does happen, uh, then the bear is going to be launching their NUKE. All right, so yeah, we already know all this. I already showed these videos. Yeah, I already yeah, we 
And we already know all this here, guys. Hold on, wait a minute. We have the turbine hall suffered major damage and a number of the control gates are just gone. Someone knew. Someone knew what they were doing. Someone knew what they were doing. So there's no video like a missile hitting it. There's a possibility someone might have uh, put a patch on these bridge. <laughs> they knew. They knew what they were doing. They were waiting for the bear to strike because the bear is always striking. Like, uh, again, around this time, the bear strikes. And, and uh, that's when Crane has the air raid alert going off. And, um, yeah, look, I believe that uh, might have been the Sleeping Giants that gave that green light. The Sleeping Giants really notorious for doing these type of stunt. So they did it at a time that the bear was striking. And now they want to blame the bear and say, well, the bear was striking, so they did it. All right, so is there any video that the bear struck that area? No, there's no video so far. Uh, I heard that there's some videos out there, but you got to be careful, guys. Uh, got to be very careful with the videos out there. All right, so this is the latest update. Uh, Ukraine military has said that the bear did it, and then the bear military said that Ukraine did it. Um, wait a minute, what is this? Look at this. Maybe there wasn't an explosion. The turnby hall, after all. No visible scorch marks. Perfect uh, cookie cutter break. Weird disaster getting weirder. So, what he's trying to say is that it wasn't some kind of explosion, it was something else. I'm just reading some of this stuff here, guys. Things been serious. Things has been serious. Uh, so what could have uh, even gotten it open then? Someone did it. Someone knew what they were doing. All right, so we don't know, guys. We just have to wait for the full investigation. Um, all we know, uh, all we know is that uh, some towns are going to be impacted. And um, we just need to pray for a lot of people out there. I'm trying to see if there's any more information here, guys, before I end it, but... I think this is all the info. Oh no, we have, what is it? Yeah, we have some more videos. More footage of the destroyed uh, dam or blast. We have some more information here. It says that the first report from the Bear State Media uh, the dam in uh, Kurzon region has collapsed due to damage. The territory is being flooded, um, a source in power structure says.
So it says Ukrainian outlet ZN, local authorities in Kurzon report that settlements have already begun to flood. Uh, immediate evacuation is required. Kurzon Ova has not yet made any statement. So there is an evacuation in place. Hmm. Oh, your cookie look good right now. Um. All right, guys, this is all the information I'm getting. Uh, I would keep it updated. Follow me on Twitter account. We have more information. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We got more information from BNO News. Give me a second here. The Russian state media confirms the dam in southern Ukraine has collapsed. This was posted 44 seconds ago. Once again, the Russian state media confirms the Kakovka hydraulic, uh, hydroelectric dam in southern Ukraine has collapsed. So this is, a, this is now a different story because they said that it was destroyed. But this one here, it says collapse. Something happened. Something happened. Maybe it wasn't hit by a missile. Uh, it's a collapse. Something's going on here. Um, say collapse. See, collapse. That's one way to put it. Uh, looks like uh, I'll be taking my blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, like I say, guys, uh, there has to be a full investigation. Uh, I'm not going to be pointing finger who did it. <laughs> so, um... All I know is that uh, someone did it. Someone knew what they were doing. Um, but all I know is that uh, we need to pray for a lot of people out there. There is uh, towns is going to be impacted. Give me one second. I just want to see if there's any more information here, guys. Hmm. Wars alert. Uh, he's posting information here. Okay, so a major hydraulic uh, power dam has been blown up. Um, it wasn't blown up. They're saying that it's collapsed now. The Russians are saying it's collapsed. All right, so Kurzan, um, it says here, watch as footage. Uh, shows a major of hydro uh, hydroelectric power dam situated in the Curzon Oblast. Okay, so I'm just going to skip all this here. But it wasn't blown up. According to Russian news, it wasn't blown up. It just collapsed. So, uh, other sources are saying the same thing, that uh, there's a possibility it might collapse because there's no signs of massive explosion going on in that area. So once again, experts uh, specializing in dam construction from Europe have warned that this uh, deliberate act of uh, excuse me act of destruction is expected to cause extensive damage to land, infrastructure, and property on a large scale. Give me a second here. Let me just copy this and just uh, leave the information. Updates, simulated models. Okay, so I just want to leave a comment. Um, you know, um, All right, so I'm just going to end it here. Uh, I don't see any more information.
Hold on, we have more information. Uh, hold on, we got some more. So breaking, Ukrainian officials in Kurzon region urges residents along the Dnieper River to evacuate. So there's a lot of information coming out now. So there is an evacuation going on. So once again, BNO News is reporting. They, uh, they are the one that's putting a lot of information right now. Uh, BNO uh, says that the Russian state media confirms that the dam in southern Ukraine has collapsed. Uh, they, um, they post this. Uh, Ukraine uh, officials, Ukrainian officials in Kurzon region urges residents along the Dnieper River to evacuate. All right, so that's uh, very important information coming out. They should have evacuated an hour ago. Um, actually, three hours ago. We have a video. We have a video here. This is from when the dam was damaged by... Why is he posting this now? Uh, this is uh, from when the dam was damaged by shelling in November 2022, not from the destruction of the dam and the power station today. I don't get it. Why is he posting this? All right. That's, uh, that has nothing to do with the situation that took place today, guys. I want to show you this one here. Huge chunk missing in the turbine. There's a huge chunk missing in the turbine hall. Something's not right here. Something is definitely not right here. It's where the X is at, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, I expect the spillway, including the turbine hall, to fall regardless, but I find it the most uh, perfectly missing chunk a bit too good to be true. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just what he said. Uh, the turbine building is on the left bank of the river. That is the side of the Russian occupy. So anyone claiming Ukraine uh, the dam means they think UKR forces went across the dam to right under the bare noses to plant explosives. All right. We have some more information. Uh, actually, no, we don't have no more information. This is basically it for now. Um, I gotta eat something. Yeah, this is uh, this is basically all the information right now, guys. So yeah, a lot of information I, j I just uh, shared to you. Um, right now they're pointing fingers at each other, but the most important thing is. They need to get people out of there ASAP. Get them out. Get them out of there ASAP. Someone did something. Someone, I don't know. I'm not going to mention or point any fingers, but uh, uh, it just, like I said, uh, we need to pray for a lot of people out there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to keep it updated. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a like to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.